everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a follow along home workout video. So a workout that you can do with no equipment. I've just got a yoga mat here. Perfect if you are avoiding the gym right now just to try and prevent the spread of this horrible virus and be a little bit safer. Um, if you were quarantined at home or if you were just staying inside more, then this is a really good one to get moving, to feel good and hopefully get those positive vibes and endorphins flowing. It is a full body workout, so we'll hopefully burn into the legs, the abs a bit and the upper body as well. So grab some water and let's get started. I am a qualified personal trainer for anyone wondering, but I am quite new to the whole talking and exercising on camera, so I will almost definitely be probably sweatier, more red, and more out of breath than you guys at home. <laughs> okay, let's start with the warm up. We are going to go into a walkout with a hip flexor stretch. So standing at the top of your mat or just some space, we are going to walk the hands out into a plank position. You're going to bring one leg round, twist open, reach up, bring the hand down, back to plank, walk the hands back to standing. Then take it back down, and we are doing the same on the other side. So twist, hand comes down, take it back up and let's go again. Same thing, take it down, twist, up to standing, last time, other side, twist open and take it back up to standing. Nice, let's come down onto our hands and knees on the mat. Like so, we're going to come into some Superman. So you want to find your mutual spine here and then just tuck under a little bit and we are going to reach our right arm and left leg out and you are going to curl into a crunch position rounding the spine and extend back out, sticking with this side, like so. Try not to arch the back here. So you don't want to be doing this, basically. You want to keep the spine and really round, really activating the core here, thinking about squeezing your stomach muscles. Nice. Oh, I'm already shaking. <laughs> Let's do two more this side. Good, last one, hold. Extend and back down. Let's change sides. Left arm, right leg, bring it in, crunch and extend. Good, working into the glutes and the core here. Getting nice and warm and mobile. I really hope this camera is set up in the right position <laughs> and that you can hear me okay. I'm not quite there yet with all the uh, the high tech microphones. Okay, let's do two. Last one, hold and extend back out. Nice. Oh, I'm already warm. I'm definitely gonna have to open the window. So hopefully there won't be any London traffic. Coming to standing, we are gonna go straight into some squats. Feet nice and wide. We are going to come down with the arms in front. And then as you come up, just reach up. Nice and simple, like so. Just checking, I've got no mysterious fluff in my armpits. <laughs> like so. Let me show you from the other side, keep it moving. Just getting nice and warm here. Bring the arms up. Coming down, nice. Keep the chest nice and lifted. You don't want to collapse like this, basically. <clears throat> Good, just the depth that feels right for you. Nice. Ooh, my shoulders are burning weirdly. Good, let's go for five, four, three, two, and last one. Good, just give your arms a bit of a shake out, a few circles here, and let's get straight into the workout. So we are gonna start with a reverse lunge. So we're gonna take the right leg back and then you're gonna bring it forward, trying to balance and take it round to a curtsy lunge. Nice, 
take it back. Good, try and lift the knee at the front and take it to a curtsy lunge so it comes backwards and to the side. Nice. If you can't bring the knee forwards, then just tapping on the ground for stability is absolutely fine. Taking it into that curtsy lunge, nice. Try not to collapse into the leg, really focusing on your balance here. Nice, burning into that left leg and glute, hopefully. I wish I had someone here to count my reps. <laughs> I'm guessing this is like seven. Let's go for a few more. Apologies if one side <laughs> gets slightly done. Sorry, I forgot to lift up my knee as well. Whew, let's do one more, take it back. Lift and to the side. Lift, nice. Shake it out and we're going to change legs. Let's go back with the left leg, drive forwards and then take it to that curtsy lunge. Like so. Forwards, curtsy lunge, nice. Lift up at the front, take it back, lift, take it back into the side and lift. Again, don't forget you can just tap the foot down if it's easier but try and do the lift at the front. Activate the core a little bit and work into balance. Whew. Nice. Nice and slow, think about pushing up through the heel each time. Good, let's go for three more of these. My right glute is burning, last two. Take it to the side, last one. Nice, well done. Woo. My glutes. Okay, we're sticking with the legs. We are going to get the heart rate elevated a little bit more and go into some bunny hop squats. The feet nice and wide. We are going to squat down and touch the floor and jump up and touch the floor like so. Three, two, one. Tap the floor and jump. Good. Getting low into the legs here. Try not to round the spine. Nice and powerful, jump as high as you can. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Okay, that definitely elevated my heart rate. We are now going to go into some single leg deadlifts. So standing nice and strong, slight bend in the knee. We are going to bring one leg back and tap the floor with that same arm. So I'm using my left leg, tapping the floor with the right, if it's better and easier, just tap the shin, like so, that's absolutely fine. And you can use this left arm to balance you. Good. And you can always hold on to something as well. Maybe the other side. <laughs> Good, like so. Let's go for three, two, last one. Good, you should be feeling that on your hamstrings into your glute. We're going to change sides, right leg, right arm up for balance. Nice and slow, let's come down, tap the shin on the floor and come back up to standing. Nice and controlled. You don't need to do this. <laughs> you can come down nice and controlled and come up nice and controlled. Think about your core, think about driving up with the glute. Good. Let's go for four, three, two. Okay, don't look at the camera, last one. Nice. Whew. Let's go down onto the floor. Oh, and we are going to come up into a glute bridge. So tuck the pelvis under so your lower back is pressing to the mat. Start squeezing the glutes, peel your back off the mat, squeezing the glutes the whole time, bring the heels slightly closer together, and lift the toes off the mat. Sorry, I meant closer to your bum, not closer together. Keep your knees hip distance apart or slightly wider. And your arms can just be rested down slightly to the side for stability. Keep holding. We're gonna tap your right leg forward, 
and bring it back. Left leg forward and bring it back. So your heel tapping the floor and then coming back. This should really work into the glute and the hamstring. Good, try and keep lifted up. This is a challenging one. Nice. Remember to breathe. Good, try not to bloat your tummy out. Keep your core nice and tight. Good, and keep working through it. Try and keep holding up. If it's too challenging, just stay holding that bridge. Good, we're gonna go for four, three, keep squeezing the glute, two, one, bring it back, keep holding. Take the feet nice and wide. Pop the toes down if it's easier. And you are just gonna do tiny pulses out to the side, nice. Good, lift the toes. Let's just work through the heels. Keep lifting, small pulses, working the adductors here, as well as the glute. Good, let's pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, keep squeezing, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Peel down nice and slow. And you can just hug the knees into the chest and do a little bit of a roll there. First section, done. That was leg and glute focus. We are now going to move on to abs and arms or abs and upper body. For this one, you can be in a plank position on your toes or you can come down to your knees. You can start up and then come down when it gets too challenging. But you're going to take your hands the width of the mat and we are going to come into a press up position. We are going to press up and then tap, tap, sorry, I should have mentioned, take your feet nice and wide if you are in this position. And let's go, press up, tap the shoulder, tap the shoulder, straight back into the press up. I will show you on the knees, press up, tap, tap, try and keep your hips nice and still, press up, tap, Tap, it's really challenging. Let me go back up. Nice, tap, tap, keep it going. Try and keep your elbows tucked in during that press up. Or take them wider to make it easier. Good, let's do two more. Tap, tap, last one, press up. Tap, tap. Woo. I'm into a cheeky child's pose. And then we're gonna come straight into laying on our back to work into the core. So coming down nice and slowly, like so. We are gonna lift our legs at 90 degree into tabletop position. And we are going to pop the hands by the head, chin to chest and curl up, shoulders and head off the mat. Really pressing your lower back into the floor, can't breathe. And we are just going to hopefully be shaking here and you should really be contracting your core in this position. Look between the knees, try not to strain the neck. And we are going to tap both feet down to the floor and bring back up. I am shaking. Nice and simple, will look simple, but it should be a bit of a core challenge. <sighs> nice and controlled. None of these crazy leg raises where you're not actually using your core. <sighs> Good, keeping nice and strong here. Nice. Good. Let's go for three, two, nice. Last one, hold, lift up that little bit higher. Three, two, one, relax down. That one is always such a killer. Okay, from there we are going to come round into a plank position. So coming onto our elbows, we're gonna do commando. So we're gonna come up on our right hand, take it down, and then up on the left side. Let's go, join in, up on the right, down, up on the left, and back down, keep it going. I'm gonna show you from this side as well, to make sure you can see in the video. Try and keep your hips nice and still. Squeeze your abs. Keep it moving, guys. This is challenging on the shoulders. Good, let's go for four, four, three, two, and last one. Come in 
onto a plank and relax. Whew. If that was or is too challenging, you can alternatively just hold a plank. Gosh, I have a newfound respect for people who film these videos all the time. Right, coming down into this position, fingers pointing forwards, you're going to lift up and we're going to do a little tricep dip and bring it back up. So you're not sitting, you're just tapping the bum and all the work is coming from the elbows. Shift your bum towards your heels as that will really help. This is a burner. Keep your elbows tucked in so they're not splaying out. It just looks so simple, but it should be burning. Keep it going. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and come down. Oh, tricep killer, helping tone up the arms. Okay, coming back to laying down, working into the abs again. Lower down with control. Legs in tabletop. We are going to do a slow bicycle crunches. So fingers at the temple. We are going to extend and twist and hold and then change, twist, hold. Good, so really pausing, really getting that shoulder off the mat. Really pressing your lower back into the mat as well. And keeping it controlled. Nice. Good, really reach up and really extend that leg low to the floor. Nice guys, remembering to pause. Good, let's go for 10, 9, 8, 7, hope this wasn't ambitious, 6, 5, 4, the last two we're going to hold, 3, hold for 3, 2, 1, change sides, hold for 3, 2, and 1, and relax down, nice. Ooh, should be feeling that hopefully. Okay, we are doing one more little section to burn out the glutes, then a finisher, then we're done, or you can replay it and redo the exercises. So for this next one, you want to be in this position, down on the mat, one leg on top of the other, heels together in sort of this clamshell position, and we are going to lift up and out. So you're opening the top leg like a clamshell and coming back down and repeating, so you can put your hand on your waist, nice, good, really working into this bottom glute here and the top one with the opening, nice and controlled, good, nice guys, let's go for three, Good, lift up, two, use the waist as well, one, nice, come down with that same leg, same side, extend the right leg out, think about your core as well, keep the chest nice and open, you're going to lift the leg up, and we're going to do little pulses here, good, so quite a small movement, don't know about you, but I can really feel this in my left glute, <laughs> good, make pulses smaller, let's go for ten, nine, Eight, flex the foot, seven, six, five, four, three, two, keep the leg up, point the toe, we're gonna to do small circles forwards, nice. Whew, let's go for 10, nine, eight, keep smiling, seven, six, five, lift it higher, four, three, two, keep it up, reverse the circle, and bring the leg back a little bit, so you're almost Coming up to the side, small circles. This is burning. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Coming on to the other side, and we are going to do the same exercise again, which was this. Oh, I did it on my hand earlier. You can come down onto your elbow if it hurts. If it hurts, if it helps. In fact, I might say I've got a slightly dodgy wrist. So coming down, let's lift up and open. Nice. Oh, my left glute now, man. <laughs> Five 
Nice. Good, we're halfway already. These all look really simple, but these small like Pilates moves really get you. Let's go for three, two, and one. Nice. Whew. Coming up into the same position as before, on your right knee, left leg comes out to the side, hand comes down, and let's lift up and pulse. Good. Nice. I'm sweating. I hope you're sweating at home. I hope some of my old clients are doing this video. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, rest if you need it. Then straight back up. Let's circle forwards. Nice. Try to keep that leg nice and high. Just a very small movement. The smaller the better here, really. I can feel this. My right glute, my left glute. Let's go for three, two, one, keep it up, reverse the circle, you've got this, keep it going. If you get cramped, bring it down, stretch out, and then straight back into it. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, gosh, that is painful, and we're not done yet. Let's come to standing, and we're gonna come down into a squat pulse. So we're going to bring the arms out in front, squat down, and we're just gonna pulse like so, let me turn to the front, come down, let's go. Good, try and stop the knees from pointing inwards, point the toes out to the side a bit, set the bum back, keep the chest nice and high, and we're pulsing, nice. Good, keep breathing, get lower, keep pulsing. Good, our glutes are nice and activated now, we should hopefully be feeling it in the quads too, Nice, in three, two, one, keep low, keep it holding, wrap the knees out to the side, like so, nice and simple, little pulses, Woo, we can do this, keep it going, make sure you're not arching your lower back, let's go for five, four, three, two, and one, that burns. I'm slightly sweaty now. We are just going to do a finisher, the super fun chest to floor burpee. So, hands, chest to floor, jump up wide and stand and then repeat, like so. If you want to add the jumping at the top, then totally do that. Makes it harder. I just live in a flat, so don't like to do too much crazy jumping around. Hashtag excuses. Okay, we're going to do them as quick as we can. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Down to the floor, take it back up, straight back down. Good guys, keep going. Halfway, show you from this side. Good, let's go for four, three, two, Last one, damaging my palm. Woo. We did it. That definitely got us moving, whether it is morning or evening. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's lifted your spirits. Play from the start if you have more time and want more of a sweaty workout, or you can do a few stretches, grab a shower, and get on with your day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked it and if you did it because it lets me know that I should make more of these videos. Follow me over on Instagram at LottieRamo if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.